Tom, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Guy. Pleasure. Thanks for the invite. Oh, my pleasure. I, um, I've been uh, watching you afar for quite a few months now, and I've been very, very fascinated. So in tr all true natures of podcasters, like myself who hosts a podcast, it's, it's actually wonderful to be able to go, I got to get Tom on and just have a chat and see what this uh, scalar energy is all about. And uh, it certainly pricked my interest. So I appreciate your time uh, coming here today, Tom. Thank you so much. Now, I, I ask the same question every show, and and I, I purposely do it because um, it, it's fascinating. Because everyone that I have on is very dynamic and and can be sometimes very hard to articulate what they do. But if you were at an intimate dinner party right now and you sat next to a stranger and they asked you what you did for a living, what would you say? Hey. <laughs> I research. I research scalar energy. It's a new science. That would be my opening line. Wow. And then straight away you go, well, what the hell is scalar energy? <laughs> yes. And that, and that, and Darren takes, takes up the rest of the evening explaining this esoteric science. So what is scalar energy? What am I doing? I don't work with electricity. I work the other energy spectrum, Tessa energy, zero point energy, scalar energy, longitudinal waves. There's two energies in the universe. And if you read a, a textbook today, a physics textbook, they will address exclusively, for the most part, electromagnetic energy, electricity and magnetism. Well, that's fine, but there is another energy. And great scientists such as Nikola Tesla discovered that there is another energy in the universe. And this other energy, scalar energy, is far superior to that of electricity. So I've devoted a career to researching scalar energy. Wow. What, why do you think, um, before we start pulling the, the, the bits and pieces of it apart, but why do you think it is not really common knowledge, not really spoken about? Like in my world as a podcaster, it's, it, it's quite common, like these conversations, but as soon as I go out in the street, right. it's like, what? what? What are you on about? Yeah. Exactly. You know, there, there is a, a, a certain group, a, it's a very narrow focus, if you will, but there, there is a, a following. Why isn't this a mainstream topic? Scalar energy is suppressed. It's a technology that threatens the existing status quo. That, that, that's the only reason I could say if it's, if it's so well embraced by a few, then why did this not permeate throughout society? Well, the, the media has not picked it up and the media is controlled. Yeah, right. With with scalar energy, then, one thing I've been kind of wrapping my head around, and, and we might as well get to the fundamentals first and, and even how you got into it in a sec. But so the, the, way, the way I kind of look at this work and, and f having from my own experiences now that once we get beyond the ego, the self and the self-identity and who we think we are, and we get back to the, the witness, the observer, metacognition, the, the, the presence of ourselves to witness ourself. It's like, who's that awareness? Who's that guy, right? And, you know, and that's been the relationship of the inner work now for me for, for God, 10 plus years, even longer. And, but from that, that, that aspect of oneself, I kind of, lean into this concept then that if everything is information, then yes. you touched upon it earlier, it all leads back to uh, the zero point or zero point field, yes. quantum field, the, the, the unified field, yes. the, the fabric that makes up the universe that binds every, everything together. Yes. Now, for me, I am a thousand percent into that, but, but I've, my belief system it all buys into that concept, but obviously it's a journey and we have to find our own way there to, 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 I guess, have that belief system. But my question to you is then, is that scalar energy or is the field giving rise to scalar energy? Well, I, I think your points are very salient. Scalar energy is the perfect information field. It's non-physical. It's the instructions of the universe. If you're a Christian, you call that the alpha and the omega. If you're a physicist, you call that quantum entanglement or, or perfect coherence. If you believe in um, um, this quantum science, you might call that Tesla energy or zero point energy or the matrix. 
What does that mean? It, it, it really alludes to the fact that there is a universal information system. It's non-physical. It transcends time and space. It's, I believe it's divine in character. And in so doing, it, it's an eternal life force. There is no diminution of signal. It's a perfect coherence. It's a perfect signal. It's perfect communication. So it represents perfect instructions. And if we're really tapping into that, then that is going to be, if you will, the, our crowning jewel as, as technology. You cannot get any more perfect than scalar energy. So it's the perfect information system for telecommunications, for medicine, for learning, for, for levi levitation, for anti-gravity instruments. It's the perfect information system. Yeah, that's incredible. And what you're doing is assisting people because I, I guess I'm, 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 as I speak, I'm just trying to, to break it down so I can keep up with you, uh, I suppose. But then with it, within us, if, if we are, you know, this physical and, and informational energetic light being that's yes. in, intertwined with each other, then the, the information I, they, I think they call it the collapsing of the wave function, if I'm not mistaken, where then it becomes from information to physical and back and forth, if you look at it at a quantum level. And what you're doing then with scalar energy is, is that then working with the information to give it new instructions to support the, the physical aspect that's coming into a human body to help support the human? Is that... Yeah, let me... Let me say this, if, if scalar energy is everywhere, it's, it's the omnipresence of God, then you simply tap into that omnipresence and then you can instruct that omnipresence. So it's nothing that you're gonna improve upon. It's already a perfect information system, but you can instruct it. So once you're in that matrix, once you're in that paradigm, it's quite versatile. You can send an infinite number of instructions and that's what I'm doing with my scalar energy instruments. I access a different dimension. I'm no longer in the electromagnetic dimension. I'm in the scalar energy dimension. And in so doing, then I'm in that perfect information system and I can send instructions by way of scalar energy, no longer by way of electricity and magnetism, so to speak. Wow. And then that's how you can work remotely because yes. you are... Uh... Scalar energy is beyond our 3D space yes. time exactly. reality. It, it, why? Because everything in a scalar energy force field is interconnected. There is no point A and point B. Everything is one point. This is why they call it the unity principle. There's, there, if it's unity, then there's only one point. This is why they call it the zero point energy or, or, the, uh, or, or the final point or the life force energy or the God force, because if it's perfect, then it's singular. Okay? If, if you are perfect, if this is a perfect coherence, then you only need one try at it. You only need one perfect paradigm. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's just unbelievable. What I'm saying to your audience is there's two realities. That's right, you heard me. The electromagnetic reality is real. There's another reality, another dimension, which is scalar energy. And the laws of scalar energy are not the laws of electricity. And once we understand the laws of scalar energy far exceed the capability of the laws of electromagnetic energy, you're going to look at the laws of electromagnetic energy as a as really a poor information system. Really, a, it's a rather... Um, I don't want to say obtuse, but it's inferior. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the new, the Newtonian law and then the quantum law, isn't it? Yes. And you can't put a circle in a square. They're, they're actually two very separate ways of yes. thinking. You're right. They're, it's, it's a different language. It's a, it, scalar energy is a new and emerging science, and, and you cannot use the terms that you've learned in Newtonian physics to describe scalar physics. It's like trying to compare Russian to to French. They're two different languages. Yeah, yeah. But the, the I think the issue is, and even 
talking to you off air before coming on, my Western mind, my Western thinking and my conditioned thinking to how we've been raised and brought up and, and look at the world, we instantly then want to take that way of un, you know, unconscious thinking, if you like, into this, which then that's when it can feel uh, challenging to wrap your head around if you're not used to it. So how long have you been looking at this stuff and how did you get my, into it? My life, I'm 61 years of age and, and I've been at this now for close to 50 years. Wow. So it's been my lifelong uh, passion. And you know, why have I assumed this, this task? Because it's so interesting and I see the benefit to mankind. Is, is it painstaking? Yes. Why? Because er practically everything I'm doing is groundbreaking. Yes, I had Tesla to learn from. Yeah, there was an American inventor by the name of Hieronymus. But in my laboratory, most of my work, some of it's trial and error. Some of it is, is the wisdom of God. But it's painstaking. I have to really make that very clear. Anytime it's a new science, you don't have anybody to compare it to. It's, it's on you, so to speak. So I have to go about and ascertain how this energy behaves and then apply it, put it in practice. So um, I'm not complaining, but it, it's laborious. Yeah, right, right. So, okay, so maybe, maybe let's get into the um, explaining exactly what you do with scalar energy to support people. Let's, let's no, look at that. I, Okay, I, really quickly, I, I studied Tesla as a youngster. Right. I, I understood his work in theory. And then I was fortunate enough to meet um, the family, uh, a Hieronymus family. He's an American inventor, Galen Hieronymus. I never met him, but I met his family. And from this Hieronymus family, I, I, I was actually able to buy scalar energy instruments. Now, this is back in the 90s. And I was really awestruck with what he achieved. And once I had a firm understanding of how these instruments operated, then I started creating these instruments on my own. My own. I copied Tesla and Hieronymus. Now, one of the key functions of scalar energy, it will assemble an atom, a molecule, or disassemble an atom or a molecule. And when I started working with these Hieronymus instruments, I could assemble a nutrient or I could break apart, I could disassemble a pathogen, a microbe. And I did that readily, easily. And I said to myself, this is incredible. And then I, it came to me that I had discovered the information system of the universe because I can inform an amino acid. I can instruct an amino acid to form, to, to create and maintain a specific molecular geometry or I can tell the herpes virus to break apart, to negate the molecular bonds, and the herpes virus transmutes or it falls apart. And when I could do that readily with these instruments, I knew I was onto something gigantic. I knew I had discovered, if you will, the tool of alchemy. This is alchemy. There is a science of alchemy, and the science of alchemy is scalar energy. Wow. Yeah, is there anyone else looking at this, to your knowledge, or no, no? And, and to be quite blunt, I believe I'm the only one that has followed up with Dr. Hieronymus's work. All of his current day disciples back in the '60s and '70s are deceased. Okay, this is from a generation a hundred years ago. All of those people that worked with Tesla, they are dead, deceased. So it really is upon our, our shoulders to bring forward this, this technology um, into the 21st century. So, you know, moving forward, I'm saying to myself, very few people have taken this up. And one of the reasons is, is that it is painstaking. There's no money in it. It's a new science. You have to devote a great deal of time and effort. And you put all of that, you put that formula together, very few people fit that fit that makeup. Very few people want to spend a considerable amount of time without remuneration on a the path less traveled. For sure. For sure. What, what are you, what are you, what would you like to achieve with this over the next, you know, decade, two decades? Where do you see this all coming? Do you see this 
becoming more common knowledge and more mainstream? Or do you think pharmaceutical companies and large corporations where there's a lot, obviously a lot of money that are certainly um, doing things differently? Um, yeah. you're, you're right. Um, this technology, I'll be very blunt. This technology, scalar technology, will make obsolete so much of the technology in the military industrial complex. So with that statement, yes, there is going to be a backlash. Um, do I want to see this come to the attention of people around the world? Yes. And frankly, it's podcasts like this that allow me to do so. The major news networks will not cover my research. Now, I, I am suppressed. If, if I'm having such incredible findings and such incredible results, why am I not helped by mainstream media? Well, it's kind of obvious they, the mainstream media is not on my side. But th despite that fact, I want to see the world embrace this. It takes awareness. We have to educate people. The word has to get out. And then people have to see the merit. And if people sign up for my free program, most people see the merit. So you have to prove it. You've got to educate people. And then it should catch on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So let, let, let's get into the, the the mechanisms, if you like, then of how how it works. Because listeners today will be like, I have, still have no idea what Tom is doing, but okay. the scalar energy sounds wow, incredible. Okay. On my website, you can see some of the photographs of the instruments. I work with custom built scalar energy instruments. They are unique. Now, when I work with people around the world, I work with them by way of their emailed photograph. This is my photograph. And people will traditionally now typically email me a photograph and I place the photograph inside the instrument. I only work with photographs. And once I place this photograph inside the instrument, the instrument picks up my light signature. It understands who I am and it can pick out my scalar energy signatures, my scalar energy, if you will, force field. So I can send energy into the quantum realm into the scalar energy realm by way of a photograph. Now, a photograph reports my current, my real-time constitution, my soul, mind, and body, or embodied, if you will, on a photograph. So let's say I had the herpes virus. Then a scalar energy instrument could read, could interpret my photograph, could ascertain the presence of herpes. I would have herpes signature. I would have the signature of herpes on my photograph. And by sending energy into the quantum field, I could instruct the herpes virus to fall apart or to disassemble. Wow. All of this is done by way of the quantum field, by way of information in which the photograph represents me. Why do we use a photograph? Because we transcend time and space. So instead of working with people inside my instrument, I work with their quantum body inside my instrument. So this is the new science of scalar energy in which we send instructions into a photograph. That's not, I, look, I, I, I'm, I'm certainly um, open to it. Like, cause I'm, um, I'm sure Paul Check mentioned it cause I work with biogeometry here in Australia which are kind of on similar principles. So I'm very open to what you're saying. So the the question I have for you right there is like you, you talked, you mentioned the uh, herpes virus, I believe, right? Do you need to know that you have it or will your equipment just automatically pick up that resonance and, and then you work with it or? See, yes, that's the beauty. The, the instrument, the technology, the energy is all knowing. It's the perfect information system. So scalar energy will recognize the presence or absence of herpes on every photograph that I introduce into the instrument. There's no human thinking guy. You don't have to think. You simply program, it's, it's like a computer. Once you program a computer, it can run for days, weeks, years. Well, my instrument, so to speak, scalar energy is pre-programmed. I mean that it's, it's pre-programmed by the divinity. And in so doing any photograph, any photograph has an information system and information signatures on it. And I could place into my instrument a million photographs and the instrument could pick out everybody out of a million people that have the herpes virus. 
instantaneously. So let's say, let's say half a million people <clears throat> have herpes. The instrument would be able to ascertain that. Mm. And the other half a million don't have herpes. The, the energy would be able to likewise to ascertain that there's no presence of herpes. Wow. And would you be looking for herpes? Like, would you go to your, your, your instrument to go, okay, let's check for herpes and then, and then it'll, right. it'll do now, that. Let, let me tell you how, how I would work with herpes in principle. I take a photograph. Let's say I take my photograph. Yeah. And I want to ascertain, do I have herpes? So I place the photograph inside the instrument. If I had herpes, then I would take a photograph of the herpes virus and place it right next to my photograph. Okay. Now remember, everything is by way of information. There's no physical, there's not even a proton or, or electron. There's no physical reality. We work with energy alone, information alone. So the energy of the herpes virus would enter into my energy field. And if I had herpes, this photograph of herpes would serve to download the information into my energy field to break apart, to destroy herpes. So I can eradicate pathogens by virtue of photographs of pathogens. If I have a photograph of a microbe, a pathogen, then I can eradicate that pathogen in my quantum body. Wow. And can that like, okay. Just, just to get a, just to get a beat, because I want to lean into what case studies you've witnessed over the right. years as well. Um, how, like, how many people or photographs have you worked with now in in your time? Uh, do, do you count them, or do you know? It's... I have to guess. Over the past, well, for the past 25, 30 years that I've been working, I've worked with at least two hundred million people around the world. Wow! At least two hundred million people around the world. I do a great deal of pro bono work um, for uh, uh, impoverished uh, cultures, if you will. Amazing. So, and it is, you're right. And a lot of times I want to make this clear. It's not just one photograph that I received, but a collage. So my instrument can easily work with two, three million people a day by way of a collage. Okay. So what does that mean? We could treat the world by way of their photograph with a scalar energy oh. instrument. The day is coming when my scalar energy instrument will treat a billion, two billion people a year. You can't stop a photograph. It's easy to treat a photograph. Yeah. What um, what 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 have you seen then? Do you, do you get people like obviously because you're working remotely? How, like what kind of um, case studies or people do, do they email you? Do you get on the phone with them and they've said, "Oh my God, this has happened." Like what what have you? Yeah. Witnessed. I think I think one of the greatest examples of the efficacy of my work is when we have an incurable virus such as herpes, Epstein Barr, HIV. Once you have those viruses, you have them for life. And people prior to the session will vouch that they have herpes or Epstein Barr. After the session, some of those people have a PCR test, and the PCR test comes back negative. No viral load for herpes, no viral load for Epstein-Barr. Now, we, we can't prove that my instrument did that, but it, there's a growing body of evidence from people around the world who, after they've had a scalar energy session, they no longer have viral infection. They no longer have bacterial infection. So right now there's no protocol to prove this, there are no other scalar energy instruments that can prove or disprove my work. I'm the only one in the world with this instrument. Hence, I'm the only one in the world with this protocol. So I cannot prove it. The third party cannot prove or disprove my work. The only thing that I can offer mankind right now are testimonies. That's it. It's a new science. And this new science does not have a protocol. Wow. What else do you treat then? You know, in total, I've been able to, to work with these instruments and to calibrate them to the point that we can identify approximately 400,000 species of microbes, 400,000 species of germs. So we can eradicate potentially now 400,000 species of germs. And I say that because it's not me, it's the ability for the instrument to read 
a photograph of a pathogen of a microbe and to destroy yeah. that pathogen or microbe. Okay, so all of this is, there's not human thinking behind this. All of this is an instrument that is programmed as such. Okay, what else can we do? I've discovered that these instruments are very strong and they will automatically balance the chakras or our brain waves. When I place a person's photograph inside the instrument, it will have a profound influence upon their thinking, upon their psychology. And many people say it's so strong that it even allows them to sleep, a very deep sleep or to recall dreams. Now, all of that lends itself to some type of psychological healing, some type of emotional healing. Mm. And I would concur with that. By, by what? What is the moving force? What is the prime mover? It's scalar energy. Okay. And that leads me to say that eventually the doorway to, to mental health will be through scalar light, scalar energy. Fascinating. What are you, I just want to raise this topic as well, because um, I think it's important because especially somebody like me that's worked in the health industry for a long time. And now I work with people at retreats and, and help people move through whatever they need to move through and things. But quite often we, we're, we're often, um, I guess, in train to look for the silver bullet, to look for the, you know, just give me that. It's going to fix me. I don't have to change my lifestyle. I'm going to stay sedentary. I'm still going to eat average food. And because I just can't motivate myself to do things where, you know, I'm a huge believer in, in a holistic approach to everything in life, you know, that we, we nurture along. What would you say? Um, can you speak to that a little bit? Because. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have the ability with these instruments to um, assemble nutrients. Now, why is that important? Well, I'm doing it at the quantum level or at the level of light intelligence. So when I'm assembling, say, the B-complex vitamins by way of a scalar energy instrument, the molecular structure of the B-complex vitamins is assembled inside each cell. So you do not have to worry, concern yourself with nutrition per se. You don't have to worry about the bloodstream delivering. The, the, the nutrients, you don't have to worry about the enzymes breaking down uh, um, the proper nutrients. To the contrary, we are creating vitamin B2. We are creating vitamin D. We are creating antioxidants. So instead of delivering nutrients, we create them inside each cell. So what am I getting at? Scalar energy by way of light will create nutrients inside the human cell. It is the perfect delivery system of nutrients. Yeah, wow. But I guess I guess my point being then, if I'm still um, not looking after myself and eating sugar and processed food and, and right. going down that route, then then I'm I guess I'm I'm start make, making making my life harder. Correct. Co correct. With, with my, res and with my, with with my end result. You're right. And you have, I always can encourage people, work with us. Okay. And mm. if you need to make a lifestyle change, do so. I cannot overcome a poor dietary habits. I cannot overcome um, your poor choices in life. If you have a vice, or, you know, I, I understand. I, I will say this, many times when people have been on our program for two or three months, it, it serves to um, auto-direct the body. It seems to auto-correct the body so that people no longer have the hankering for sweets or alcohol mm. or tobacco. So by sending this perfect intelligence into the body, I really think it not only uh, uh, corrects the psyche, but it also corrects our physical desire and many people say that they make uh, healthy food choices thereafter, that they're no longer enticed by chocolate or ice cream or candy, that, that by reprogramming their quantum body, everything's by way of intelligence, by reprogramming their body, they want to eat nutritious food, nutrient dense food. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That, that makes total sense as well. When looking at this, then what, 
what have you seen in the past? Because you you talked like I, I'm always into um, I'm always into I guess being open to the wonders of the world and being able to look at the the possibilities of these things. I mean, you spoke about um, scalar energy and some of the things that you looked at. Like you mentioned anti gravity earlier. Like yeah. even in my mind, I'll, I'm like, how is that possible? Uh, you know, because I'll, I, I'll, I, I'll titillate the audience. There's a Russian uh, scientist, Viktor Grabenikov, and, and this is now becoming well known. Viktor Grabenikov developed a scalar energy hovering craft. And there's actually photographs of him hovering or levitating. And how did he do that? Scalar energy is the cause of gravity. If you can relax gravity, negate gravity, then you're no longer subject to gravity. And that's what he did with his uh, anti-gravity platform. And by controlling gravity through scalar energy, he was able to levitate, to hover. And he established the fact that he could travel without any G-forces on his body because he's outside of the gravitational force field. And he could travel at hundreds of miles an hour and his hair would not even ruffle. Why? He wasn't subject to gravity. His, his body, his hair was not subject to gravity. So this has been done before. And we simply have to recount, we simply have to repeat these experiments. If you can control scalar energy, you can control gravity. You will then have mastery over tr transportation. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's mind blowing. I mean, sh surely the government are looking at this stuff. They'd have to oh, be, sure. wouldn't they? You know? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. It's, it's, you can't suppress this much longer. And we, yeah. we realize that, you know, you know, I, I've always been suppressed for the past 40 years, but the world is catching on. Yeah. And, you know, Nikola Tesla was such a great scientist. Um, you're not going to hear about him in academia because the establishment will underwrite, will deride Tesla. But people realize that he was a brilliant man. And by grassroots effort, Tesla is being resurrected. Yeah, wow. And, and this energy then, could you potentially start to, use it instead of electromagnetic wave as in terms of like a power source? Yeah, or... that's, that's my goal. If, if scalar energy is from the sun and the stars, that's the point of origin. You realize now that we no longer need a power plant. The power plant are the stars. We don't have to build another power plant. All you have to do is capture the energy from the stars, from the sun and the stars. Okay, this is the the, the supreme energy of the universe. So what do I propose in the future when we can properly harness, capture scalar energy, then we're capturing the infinite supply of energy from the sun and the stars. There will be no, no energy crisis anymore. Do you think you'll, we'll see that in our lifetime? I, I believe we'll see it in our lifetime, yes. Wow. It's coming, it's coming very quickly. Yeah. Wow. We could like, and I just going slightly off topic here, but not not kind of. But you know, with the 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 events that have been going on now for almost two years, yes. the the world is is definitely feels like it, but in a in a washing machine before um, we pull the laundry out the other end. I'm not sure what's going to come out of it. Whether the the the, the dye has run out of the clothes or not, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, how do, how do you see um, the events that have been going on and are you optimistic for our future and the changes that are coming? I am optimistic for our future because God is always with us. And I think the people have learned so many lessons during this pandemic, you know, too, too many to, to mention in a short podcast. But I think people now will realize where the failure lies and we have to address those failures. And we're looking now for results. We're looking for new opportunities. You know, the, it, it's been said it's foolish to, to expect different results with the same approach. Well, many people now are starting to think outside the box and they're starting to look at new answers for these problems because the, the existing answers aren't working. They're not answers. They're not answers. So what has the pandemic done? It's served to push mankind, yeah. to start them thinking to, 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 for people to realize that 
what's not working, you have to deal with reality. It's not working. Just move on. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. So I just I'm just debating which the di which direction to go in here as we we as we work our way through the show. So let's say um because I I've i be honest, I've not tried your work. Yes. You know, and um the, my my I guess my intuitive right side is is like yeah, let's just get in there, put it on, see what happens, you know. And then the left side of me is like, how how do I how could I make this a bit more measurable to to at least um feed my ego side, you know, the the part of me that wants to see a, a linear result because, you know, I've been certainly brought up in a test and measure and look at the the results kind of aspect for it. So let's say I was going to try your program tomorrow, which I, which I will do. Um what would you what would you suggest for me to how to go about it and if there's a way of of going okay so the photograph was sent yesterday um yes. it's going to be in the the machine by friday so that means okay from friday on i'm going to start paying attention like what would you suggest we do have a 15 day free session free trial on the website and the key to that is for people to if you will experience for the first time quantum healing and i frankly i frequently tell people take a journal <clears throat> journal and write down what you feel on a daily basis invariably after the 15 day free session the greater majority of people feel better their spirit is uplifted they realize that they have bacterial infection that's been cleansed out many people say <clears throat> that their dream state has been enhanced significantly and in so doing, they have a greater sense of peace and calm, a greater sense of equilibrium. Now, keep in mind, if this instrument is that strong, it should be able to balance your brain waves and produce some state of peace or bliss. Many people experience that. So after 15 days of having your germs eradicated, nutrients provided, and your chakras and your brain waves recalibrated or reprogrammed, Put all of that together and you're under our care. We're working with you 24 hours a day. The greater majority of people feel better. Now, they can't necessarily put their finger on it because it's new. It's different. There's, they've never done this before. They, there's no way to compare it. This is the, there's no index. But you can feel the difference before Scalar started and after the 15 days. Okay. Okay. Because even looking at the, um, you've got um, multiple different um, programs to, you suggest that could be done from, you know, hormones to, like you say, bacteria to, to chakras and things like that, that become more detailed. Right. How, how would I then know which one to do? Because if I, like, how would I know if my chakras are aligned or not? And that's something I should work on. Or how would I know if my hormones are not quite there or not? That's something sure. I should work on. Or... Sure. What we offer on the website is called our standardized session in which on a daily basis for one hour, we'll balance your chakras. And then the nutrient program does include some, some hormone therapy. Okay. Or at least the hormones that are found in both men and women. So, we let the energy, we let the intelligence do the work. I never diagnose. I never tell people to change their lifestyle. Remember that the energy is self-directed. This is God's energy. So I don't tell the energy how to repair, cure, alleviate, solve problems. The energy, this all-knowing energy will produce those salubrious effects. So I simply work with the instruments that have been calibrated and I, I repeat those, those cycles, if you will. I repeat those modalities on a daily basis. One hour a day, I'll treat for chakras. One hour a day, I'll provide the microbial cleanse, microbial cleanse. And the remaining two, two hours, the 22 hours remaining, is the nutrient program. And I do that every day, 24 hours a day. Right. That's a lot of energy. That's a great deal of energy. That's a great deal of, of sessions over a 15 day period. And you're, you're destined to feel better. I would encourage people 
when you sign up for the 15 day trial, include your entire family, you can include everybody, include six, seven, eight people. That's fine by us and include your pets. Oh, wow. And many times people will see a dramatic improvement in the, the, uh, the vigor of their pet in, in the, uh, well-being and if you will, of their pet. Now, obviously a pet, your dog, your, your cat is not familiar with scalar energy. So it's really not a, what I would consider to be a bona fide placebo effect. What does that mean? Well, let your dog and cat prove to you that th there is a, an improvement, that there is some type of an improvement in health. Do you, do you need the photographs independently? Like, like if I was going to do me and my whole family or does it a fam like a one photograph with all of us together or is it got to be like independent? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People sometimes send in single photographs. Sometimes they send in group photographs. And what I've observed with scatter energy, um, the age of the photograph does not matter because your energy field is always constant within the present moment. So people send me photographs that are 20 years old, which is still valid. That's you. You're, it's like your fingerprint. Your fingerprint stays with you for life. Well, your photographic signal stays with you for life. So when um, people um, are doing healings, you know, like uh, uh, obviously a common one is Reiki and, and, and using it, our heart, our intention, and to, to support the energy, energy body of another human. Is that yeah. working with scalar energy right there? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Many people have healing hands. Mm -hmm. and many people say that they can feel heat or they, they can actually feel a sensation from healing hands. That's scalar energy. And, and this is the healing of the future in which you're imparting intelligence and the intelligence recalibrates the body, the mind, the intelligence instructs. Okay. Everything in the universe begins with instructions, intelligence. The final outcome is your physical constitution. So why not use the cause, intelligence, instructions to produce a favorable outcome? Wow. In all your years of doing this, is there any one particular case or anything that stands out to you that you go, wow, that, you know, that's, that's pretty, pretty remarkable. Years ago, uh, uh, say three or four years ago, there were elephants, elephants in Asia that had viral disease. And people sent us photographs of the elephants and we were treating the elephants. And within a week or two, the elephants had recovered and they had no more uh, viral infection. And th that to me is a great sign that when you're working with a, a a mammal, in this case, an elephant, and you can see a, a speedy turnaround and improvement in their health. And obviously the elephants don't know that they're being treated with scalar energy. That's a sign that, that there is a cause and effect relationship here, that the growing body of evidence is that people and animals see an uptick in their health, some type of improvement in their health. So there, there are many cases like that. I could go on all day long, but wow. the, you know, all of this really points to the fact that there is some type of cause and effect relationship here, but, but Newtonian physics cannot prove that. Yeah. So I, I guess it's just a thing that you, you've, you've got to try it for a while and, and mm -hmm. see if you feel, feel better for it or not. Isn't it really at the end of the yeah. day? That's correct. Yeah. And, and I'm assuming you're using it on yourself, right? All the time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what have you noticed with your, your health over the years? Uh, I'm very there. healthy. I, I haven't been in a hospital for 30 years. Extremely healthy. I don't have any health complications. I, uh, I'm strong. I, I think I, I have the proper nutrition that I need in part because of this program. Uh, I, I'm going to go on record by saying scan energy will increase the longevity, the, the lifespan of many people. Because, you know, you're, you're able to eradicate parasites viruses from the body parasites and viruses that that cause disease or contribute to disease parasites viruses that are are sometimes the 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 causative agent the the etiological agent of cancer hmm. so when you can eradicate so many pathogens and when you can improve the nutritional 
fortitude constitution of a person, you're, you're going to improve their, their well-being and you're probably going to extend their life. Wow. Does this work with gluten intolerance then as well? I, I haven't had good success with gluten intolerance. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah, that, that pro, for some reason, that protein is, it just escapes me right now. I cannot, yeah, but you're getting there. But it's good to know because I'm, I, you know, I'm married to a naturopath and, um, and I'm certainly aware of how essential it is to, to look after and nurture your, especially the gut health, you know, and, and the amount of um, uh, how, I, how it affects our mood, how it affects inflammation, how it affects um, of so many systems of the body, you know, it's, it's quite remarkable. So. No, the, the, the emerging scientific evidence shows that, and some people call it the second brain, mm. your, your microbiome, your, your gut. And there's, you know, there's relevance to that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. I, um, look, I, I've been loving our conversation today, Tom. I'm, I'm certainly uh, intrigued. Is there any thing that you wish I'd asked you while I've got you on the air right now before we wrap this up? I, I think the best thing for the audience to do, because this is a new science, visit the website. It's scalarlight.com mm -hmm. and read some of my articles and look at the testimonies. Okay. I, I don't think anybody in the world, once again, is, is following this path, this trajectory. Mm -hmm. So my work is unique. You know, that, that doesn't mean that, that, anybody else who's performing scalar energy experiments, that, that too is of merit. But my approach is unique. So you have to look at my, my work under that context. It's, they're unique instruments with unique results. Look at the testimonies. We have three or 4,000 testimonies on the website. None of those testimonies have, have been coerced. And then you have to make a decision. You know, is there merit here? Mm. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And just just for our listeners as well, um, with everything we've covered today, and I just want to eat some, like, is there anything you need to leave us uh, to ponder on to finish this episode up? Yeah, yeah. I always like to tell people, scalar energy is from the sun and the stars, but everybody's a scalar energy expert. What do I mean? Your thinking is a function of scalar energy. Your, your thoughts, your heart, your emotions are a function of scalar energy. So it, you be well disposed to, to think well, okay? to have a good attitude, create creative attitude, to be heartfelt, to have compassion for mankind. That way you're, you're accessing that divine dimension. Okay? Mm -hmm. what you, the way you think, the way you feel is eventually what you project in the world that you inherit, the environment that you create for yourself. So you hear many health coaches say you have positive thoughts. Of course, it's only logical. Think well and, and have a good heart, be of good cheer. Of course, because there's a lot more to this than just that, that type of exercise. Your scalar intelligence, your mind, your scalar intelligence, your, your heart, your emotions set up the world, creates the environment for you. You, you make it or break it here and here. Head and heart. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. And, um, you know, Tom, just to, just to wrap this up, like, because um, we run retreats here in Australia. I mean, it's been challenging, obviously, with the, the lockdowns at the moment and things, but um, we that some of the experiences we have like that, that just for our listeners, that energy is very palpable. It's very real. And as we work with people over three, four, five days and, and are able to move that energy and create that coherence and, and it's, it's bringing exactly. people back into harmony. It's uh, it's remarkable, remarkable stuff. And I, I, I too feel we're on the, the cusp of something very special as more and more people awaken to uh, the possibilities of all this kind of work. Yeah. Scalar energy is a new technology that will liberate humanity. Mark my word, this technology will have a greater impact than that of the computer. Scalar energy is going to change the world for the better. Amazing. Tom, could you just repeat your website one more time? I'll have sure. it in the show notes as well. Sure. Scalarlight.com. S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. Visit the website. You can email us four, five, 
10 photographs, I don't care. And we'll treat your entire family for free. And that way we'll prove to you that this is of merit. Amazing. Tom, thank you for so much coming on. And uh, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how I go as well. Okay, please do so. Thanks for your time. Thanks, legend. Thank <laughs> you.